Hello friends, in the earlier video we have studied about different types of the centrifugal governor. Now we are come across we are coming across to the centrifugal governor. We are here to study about the working principle of working principle working principle of the centrifugal governor. Here is the symmetric diagram I have drawn earlier to save the time. Now Introducing you the technical terms which are related to this centrifugal governor. Here are the two fly balls. This is the arm which is connecting the fly balls to the spindle of this governor. Basically, this is the spindle which is connecting uh, all the accessories that are mounted over it. This actually the shaft of this governor. Here is the gear assembly which is connecting to the governor. This is the sleeve. From sleeve the arms are connected these arms are connected to the throttle valve of the fuel cylinder that is fuel cylinder from where the supply of working fluid is done now what is the principle basically uh, basically centrifugal governor works on the principle of the balancing of these rotating balls M means these balls rotates in upward or downward directions then the different types of the forces come across into play so let us know about which type of the forces are acting on them first is the downward force which is acting due to the weight of this flyball that is capital W and the centrifugal centripetal force this is the towards the center of the spindle and equal and opposite force to the centripetal force is called centrifugal force acting on this this centrifugal force basically this governor works on the principle of centrifugal balancing of the centrifugal forces also known as controlling force okay now this is bell crank lever this is the sleeve which moves upward or downward according to the load variation into the engine now coming across to the different types of the terms related to this governors first is height of the governor so what is the height of the governor here is the height means the center of from the center of the fly ball to the spindle axis means pivot point where the arms of the fly ball fly ball gets connected to this spindle so from here this distance to up to the flyball center this distance is called h this is called h yeah, it may be capital h or it may be small h so this is the height of the governor so this is the height of the governor now come across the equilibrium speed what is equilibrium speed the speed at which the governor balls arms etc was are in complete equilibrium complete equilibrium means sleeve does not tends to move upward or downward this is the equilibrium speed so equilibrium speed is the speed at which the sleeve does not tends to move upward and downward means at the stationary position or you can say that there is no load variation into the engine running into the constant speed okay now third topic is sleeve lift so what is the sleeve lift okay basically it is the vertical distance so which the sleeve travels to change in equilibrium speed means if sleeve wants to change the equilibrium speed then moves upward or downward okay after moving upward if, if it remains constant then it from here this distance is called the sleeve lift it may be or, um, vertical upward or it may be vertical downward okay so this this uh, this is all about the centrifugal governor so another type of the governor uh, of the centrifugal type basically 